And in number one spot, today we have Torchlight Infinite. This is an action role-playing game in a sci-fi setting where you'll become the hero and enter uncompromising battles to defeat evil forces. The game sets in the era of Ember technology, 200 years since the events of Torchlight 2, and now's been surrounded by lots of enemies who are all kinds of ferocious monsters. There are up to four playable heroes, each has its own 24 skill trees, equivalent to more than 180 skills that can be used in different battles. When playing, you'll see that the game is hard. Next up at number two, we have Eden Zero Pocket Galaxy. This is an action role-playing game adapted from the popular anime series Eden Zero. The gameplay is quite simple. Basically, you need to form a team of up to three members. You'll control one of three characters and go around the map to do missions. You can once again experience the storyline of the Eden Zero series and play multiplayer modes. The characters are all completely free to unlock according to the storyline. Your task is to just upgrade them to become stronger. Dear coming in at number three, we have Dislight. Now it's time to enjoy something interesting. You may have played a number of RPG games, but today in this video, you're going to experience a brand new RPG game called Dislight. Dislight is a trendy, futuristic mythology RPG set in future cities with striking audiovisual experience and super heroic characters. Like Chloe or Medea, I voice act as her. Fashion is not just about aesthetics, but attitude. Evil roams the streets, and danger lurks in the shadows away from the bright city lights. Heroes who get divine power from gods of mythologies must rise once more and answer the call to defend humanity from its greatest threat. Let's talk about the game's most amazing characters. You'll get to choose a variety of characters, for example, Anubis, Artemis, Medusa, Odin, and Nezha. When you start this game, you pretty much get a dedicated team. For example, it's the first four-star hero everybody gets, that's Artemis. She's one of the best AoE damage dealers in the game. She has self-heal and more damage power, and also there are a- Next up at number four, we have Dark Nemesis Infinite Quest. Dark Nemesis is an eye-catching 3D MMORPG for those passionate about state warfare. It has a good plot, extensive characters, and a challenging, gritty arena. Believe me, there are many things in this game that are worth spending many hours on. The game gives you four character classes, Warrior, Assassin, Mage, and Archer. Each class will have a specific set of skills with advantages and disadvantages. Remember to level them up often. Why? Because when facing fierce and Moving on to number five, we have Tower of Fantasy. This is an epic post-apocalyptic MMORPG from the publisher Perfect World and is rated with the famous Genshin Impact. Ignoring the fact that people often compare Genshin Impact or the recent scandals, to be fair, Fantasy of Tower is a game worth playing. Compared to the common ground of mobile online combat role-playing games, which are still quite confusing, Fantasy of Tower emerges as a representative which has full of deep, wide, and different qualities. Just a short time after launch, the game's won- Down to number six, we have Teeny Tiny. Teeny Tiny is a multiplayer online role-playing game published by Smilegate Megaport. The game's built in the background of a vibrantly animated world. You'll experience a lot of diverse activities when playing. Everything in Teeny Tiny takes place in a magical, colorful world made up of clusters of floating islands and a towering tower in the middle. The goal of every player participating in the server is to enter the tower and conquer all unlimited levels inside the tower. When you start playing the game, you'll play as a random kid. Next up at number seven, we have Darkbind. Darkbind is an ARPG which takes you to a universe full of supernatural creatures and enemies that you'll have to face. To save humanity from the most profound devastation, you'll have to go through the different zones in which the map's divided in to take advantage of the qualities of your warrior. In this game, you'll soon realize that you're in front of a title, which the visual and the sound merge perfectly to generate a first-class creation. From the first missions, you'll find sequences of cinematic aspects in which we are used. Coming in at number eight, we have Tamashi, Rise of Yokai. This is an anime-style 3D MMO ARPG where you can cross paths and fight side by side with all kinds of yokai and guardian spirits, called Tamashi. The game offers an immersive experience of becoming a demon slayer in a magnificent yet dangerous world, featuring cute characters, fine-tuned action system, and stunning visual effects. Before starting, you'll choose one of three character classes, Samurai, on Myoji and Cannoneer. Each character in the game will have six separate pa Moving on to number nine, we have Jade Dynasty New Fantasy. New Fantasy is a free-roaming MMORPG title based on the popular Jade Dynasty franchise. New Fantasy surprises with astonishing 3D graphics and authentic turn-based MMO features. The game boasts a vast world to be explored as you make your way through perilous terrain and take down terrifying enemies with your controllable character. The first thing that might strike you when booting up the game is the broad range of customization for your character. The gameplay can be split into two sections. 
Firstly, kicking off the list at number 10, Chronicle of Infinity. This is a role-playing game from Neocraft Limited, is highly appreciated for its graphics and super exciting combat gameplay. If you're looking for an MMORPG for this class, you must play this game. Chronicles of Infinity takes place when members of the Astral Heroic Alliance gather to fight the brutal Obsidian Legions. The war breaks out, and you appear as a defender side by side with your forces to repel the dark Obsidian forces. In your clan, you're free to exchange playing experiences, buy and